We're talking trees today. It's TLC Live. Lots of trees here at TLC. Come on down to get yourself some. Daryl's here to tell us all about what we got going on here. Yes. And we do have a lot of trees. Is it time to we plant them right now? Yeah, now's a great time. We're still cool enough. We're kind of nearing the end of that, but we are still cool mm -hmm. enough. So it's a good time to plant trees. Um, stay diligent with your watering, pick right. the right trees. Holly. We're here to help for that yeah. and uh, you're, you'll be good to go. Okay, so we're talking about the hollies here right. and so many different types of hollies. Well, and that's exactly why. So there are numerous different types of hollies, uh, different shapes and sizes, mm -hmm. different leaf, uh, leaf shapes, different amounts of pokey on them. Yeah, some will have yes. red berries, some yeah. won't. Um, but basically, mm -hmm. show us your spot, know your spot, and we can help mm -hmm. you figure out the right one for you. Um, there's even some really cool topiary hollies like these mm -hmm. um, that are, uh, great for pots or in the ground, either one. Typically, hollies need a lot of sun or not so yeah, much sun? Yeah, I would say at least a half a day on the hollies for them to perform the best and look the best. Okay. Um, nice, dark, rich green foliage on them. Mm -hmm. Lots of pretty red berries generally in the winter. The birds love them. It gives good habitat for the birds too in the winter, being mm -hmm. evergreen. Um, do they keep their leaves all year round? Yes, they do. Um, they're great for screening, uh, building a wall, privacy, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's probably their most their most common use, but they are great for a specimen too. Yeah, I love the red berries. So cool. Yeah, so cool. And that's a Savannah holly. That one does mm -hmm. have lots of red berries, but we also have the Oakland holly, Foster holly, Nellie Stevens holly, Emerald Colonnade. There are a lot to choose from. I imagine the birds love those berries the birds too. Do love the berries. Okay, these are beautiful upright junipers. What do we need to know about them? Uh, upright juniper is kind of the way they sound. They're typically going to be taller and thinner. Mm -hmm. um, they're nice for flanking a doorway, windows, on the corner of a house, something like that. But they're also great for screening. Mm -hmm. We have many, many to choose from. We have the Blue Arrow Sky Rocket, uh, Blue Point Juniper. One of my favorites, the Hollywood Juniper. It grows very, very cool, uh, but great color too. I've always got my favorite, so. The Hollywood Juniper comes with sunglasses. Comes with sunglasses. And won't talk to you. It, no, it will not, absolutely not talk to you. It will completely ignore you. You yeah. aren't cool enough for the Hollywood Juniper. Exactly, and that's why I love it. Um, but no, but we have a lot to choose from in that. Um, it's a very, very popular item for that reason because they're easy to place in the yard. They're Juniper, so they grow well. It's, again, it's another one of those that probably needs half a day of sunlight to do mm -hmm. the best, but they can absolutely take full sun. They're very drought tolerant. They're really easy to grow in Oklahoma. How tall do they get? Uh, range anywhere from like 12 to 20 feet tall. Oh, wow. So it kind of depends on the the, the height of your, uh, the, the roof line on your house uh -huh. on kind of how tall you want to go or how tall the windows are and how tall you want to go. So mm -hmm. there's lots of options there. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, thanks. Okay, now we're talking crepe myrtles. And I know the question I always get from people is, do I cut them back? Is it, do I need to do that? And I know you're like, here you go. Here, okay, already. here's the definitive <laughs> thing you need to know. Daryl's like, I tell you this every year. So tell us the 411 on the crepe myrtles. You don't unless you absolutely have to for size reasons. Um, the pruning crepe myrtles over and over and over again is actually not that good for their health. It opens it up to diseases or pests, things like that. So kind of know what you're looking for when you buy one, because honestly, anymore, you can come to us and say, I want an eight foot crepe myrtle that's going to have red flowers and we can point you to the exact one that's going to max out at that height. Okay. So we have dwarf that might range from one to two feet tall at sure. full grown to four to five feet tall, six to eight, 10, all the way up to 20 feet. So that way you don't have to cut it correct. back. Yeah, the goal is to buy one that's gonna mature at the right size so that you don't have to prune it. Now, not all of us have planted our own crepe myrtles. We live in a house where they already were. So sure. if you have to prune them, that's okay. But you know, just do it correctly. You can ask us for advice on that. Okay. Um, but the goal is to not have to do it all that often. Okay, so, so what more do we need to know about crepe myrtles though? Um, they like sun, they don't like sun, they, they need like water. water. It's, it's one of those great Oklahoma staples. They can take the full sun, they are, mm -hmm. they are fairly drought tolerant. Um, they give you loads of color um, starting in summer into mm -hmm. the fall. Um, there's lots of colors like red, purple, pink, white, um, and some even some bicolors, but you have pretty ones with the green foliage. You even have stuff with uh, dark purple foliage like the black yeah. diamonds. Yeah. Um, so there are many to choose from depending on what you like. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing I do want to say is that it's very important with crepe myrtles to make sure that you still water them in the winter. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of times we've all had some that have died back at some point or another. And a lot yeah. of times that's just because of the weather we have in the winter, but watering them every two, three weeks in the winter will help will help a lot with that and go a long way towards getting them to not die back. Because it insulates the roots? Correct, it does, okay. it insulates the roots. That's exactly right. Well, hey, <laughs> <laughs> all right then. I'm teething, I'm, I've learned something here. You have learned something every time. <laughs> all right, Daryl, thank you so much. You. As do we all, as do we all. We'll see you next time on TLC Live.